Doug, here in Albuquerque, the big news is a new complex for the National Nuclear Safety Administration right here in Albuquerque. Now that building is going to cost nearly $200 million. Now add to that the save jobs and improvement at the state's labs and bases. And yesterday was a pretty good day for New Mexico in Washington. This is huge. $174 million on its way to New Mexico. We're making investments at Kirtland at the new NNSA office building there. That's another $174 million project. New amendments made by Senator Martin Heinrich to the 2018 U.S. defense spending bill mean big upgrades and big cash to the land of enchantment. Here in Albuquerque, a brand new National Nuclear Safety Administration headquarters. The $174 million building will bring even more jobs to the Duke City. When it's completed, it will uh, house up to 1,200 federal employees. And that doesn't even count the huge number of plumbers, electricians, iron workers, operating engineers, plasters, painters, boilermakers, the whole realm. Early estimates from the New Mexico Building and Construction Trades Council say the project could bring in upwards of 2,000 more jobs. The new bill also, at least temporarily, saves jobs at Los Alamos National Labs. Right now, only Lanol makes a key component of nuclear weapons called nuclear pit production. The new bill says that if President Trump wants to move that production anywhere else, he'll have to jump through some serious hoops to do so. But most importantly, Seeley says it means stability for New Mexicans and their families who rely on the state's labs and bases. Whatever appropriations we get sustains the base and secures its future. And as you're likely well aware, the Air Force stores several F-16 fighter jets at Holloman Air Force Base here in New Mexico. And this bill would also create a brand new pipeline program in the state's high schools and colleges to make, uh, essentially to get people together to essentially train in order to maintain those, something the Air Force desperately needs. Reporting live here at Kirtland Air Force Base, David Carl, KOAT Action 7 News.